Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check the storage on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you feel like it's running out of space or storage, I'm gonna show you how to check that and some things that you can do to free up that space. So let's hop into the settings here and scroll down, tap on general, and then midway down is iPhone storage. So let's tap on that. You'll be able to see at the very top, I have 128 gigabytes, and of that, I've used 47 gigabytes. So that's the total capacity of my phone. And you can see a breakdown here of applications, photos, messages, mail, iOS, and system data. Now, keep in mind, there is some storage on here that you cannot remove. So if you scroll to the very bottom, you'll see iOS, I have 17.5.1, and it's taking up about 11 and a half gigs. Keep in mind, there's nothing you can do about that. That is just the data that iOS takes up. And then under that is system data. And this says data includes caches, logs, and other resources currently in use. So if you restart your phone, this usually drops down. If you're using it a lot and you have a lot of apps open, you're doing a lot of stuff, this should fluctuate a bit up. So it kind of fluctuates up and down a bit. But again, beyond restarting your phone, there's not much you can do about that to free this up. But there are a lot of apps that you can free up space. So it shows you on basically order of which apps are taking up the most space on your phone. So you can see photos that is taking up the most and then Google Drive on here, Safari, TikTok, Amazon. There are a few things that we can do to help free up that storage. So you can download other apps, music, songs, any kind of movies, TV shows, all that. Now on here, for instance, we can go into any of these apps like TikTok and we can offload this app and then just reinstall it. A lot of times this frees up some of the cache and logs. And if you really wanted to reduce the size of that, you could always just hit delete or delete and then reinstall the app. If you don't, if you wanna use it, basically you can reinstall it. But if you don't really use it, you can always just delete the app and that will free up that space. Now let's walk through some other options you have to free up that space. Let's go back, back again, and go down to Safari. Now on here, this takes up a lot of data. So you can see clear history and website data. I can choose all history, all profiles, and hit clear history at the very bottom. That will free up about a gigabyte of space on my phone. So you can do that. Another thing you can do is we can go back and tap on messages. And you'll see here, where is it? Keep messages for, and I have it set to forever. You can switch it to one year and it will delete every message on your phone that's older than one year. Now keep in mind, of course, you can't recover these, you can't get them back, but if you don't necessarily need them, it frees up a lot of space in terms of photos and videos that you've sent back and forth and all of that stuff. Now let's walk through some other options as well. A lot of times photos will be taking up a lot of data on your phone. So let's tap on your name at the very top and then tap on iCloud. And then choose photos here and you'll be able to see sync this iPhone is turned on and you wanna make sure optimize iPhone storage is also toggled. Basically, if that is toggled, that means when your phone is starting to run out of space, it will take all those photos and videos, put them on the iCloud, and it'll just basically keep a thumbnail resolution version of it on your phone. Whenever you need it, you just tap on it and it quickly loads it up from the iCloud so you'll be able to see it, play the video, share it, all that stuff. But it keeps the vast majority of that memory on the iCloud and not on your phone. So those are a few different things you can do to help free up that space. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.